Hey everybody, this is example number five for structural dynamics of damp free vibrations. The problem statement that we have is the main span of a bridge structure has the following properties based on vibration tests. The effective mass is equal to 400,000 kilograms. The effective stiffness is equal to 40,000 kilonewtons per meter. And the ratio of successive displacement amplitudes from free vibration trace is equal to 1.05. So if we consider the span of a single degree of freedom system, in order to calculate the fundamental frequency, we have to determine, we're asked to determine the structural damping coefficient and the equivalent viscous damping coefficient. Before we proceed with the solution, I just want to let you guys know that this example is brought to you by Bentley. And Bentley Systems is a software development company that supports the professional needs of engineers, designers, planners, and contractors responsible for creating and managing infrastructure. Bentley has tailored software applications for design, modeling, and analysis of buildings, structures, bridges, plants, and more. I have used Bentley's software, and I can say that the software was very easy to use, and the support that came with it was impeccable. Whenever I needed help, the Bentley team was there for me. And here's their website, it's Bentley.com. There is a link to Bentley.com and some of their YouTube channels within the description part of this video. So if you're a student and want to get familiar with the software and get a leg up over your colleagues during your job search, academic licensing is available through Bentley. And if you're a practicing engineer and you want to sharpen up your skills, they have a bunch of videos and webinars on their website as well as their various YouTube channels, so please check them out. And now coming back to our damp free vibration problem, the first step is uh, we're going to calculate the ratio of the successive displacements. And in this case, we actually don't have to calculate it. We know that x1 divided by x2, the ratio of the successive displacements is equal to 1.05 based on the information that we were given in the problem. Next, uh, we need to calculate the logarithmic decrement. And that's equal to the nat delta equals the natural log of the ratio of the successive amplitudes. So the natural log of 1.05 equals 0 0.049. After this, we're going to calculate the structural damping coefficient. And we're going to use this relationship that uh, the logarithmic decrement delta is equal to the natural log of the successive of the successive the ratio is equal to the natural log of the ratio of the successive amplitudes. And that's equal to the natural log of 1 plus pi times eta. Eta is equal to the, this is the structural damping coefficient. Structural damping coefficient, eta, or eta. Uh, and that's approximately equal to pi times the structural damping coefficient. So to make things easier, we'll just use the relationship that delta is approximately equal to pi times the structural damping coefficient. So based on this relationship, we can solve for the structural damping coefficient. It's equal to delta divided by pi, and that's equal to 0 0.0156. That's our structural damping coefficient value. Now we need to calculate the, the circular natural frequency because in order to calculate the equivalent viscous damping coefficient, we need to know the circular natural frequency omega. And omega is simply equal to the square root of the stiffness divided by the mass. So that's equal to 10 radians per second. And once we know this, we can calculate the equivalent viscous damping coefficient. And that's equal to uh, the structural damping coefficient times the stiffness divided by the circular natural frequency. So we just plug in the numbers and we get that the equivalent uh, viscous damping coefficient is equal to 62.4 kilonewtons second per meter. And this is the end of this example. Uh, please subscribe to the channel, like the Facebook page, facebook.com slash engineering examples. And please also visit the website, it's engineeringexamples.net. Thanks.